Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are wondering whether or not you are being a good friend or if your friend or friends are good friends, I'm going to give you the five top ways to be a good friend. And if your friend is not being this way, then maybe you can consider whether or not they are being a good friend. So let's jump right in. The first thing is that you want to be positive. Okay, you just don't want to be that person who's always negative, who has a negative outlook in the world. You don't want to be that friend who is negative all the time. And every time they talk to you, you have something negative to say. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, this happened to me. Oh my gosh, so and so said this. And it's, it's just so draining and irritating to have a friend who's always negative and they always see the negative side of things it's just draining it's like gosh like you know when you're done talking to them you get off the phone or after you're done hanging out with them you just feel drained you're like oh my gosh why do i feel this way why am i like depleted and it's because you were hanging out with that friend or you were talking to them and then you have to bring yourself out of that situation out of that energy out of that vibration and it's just like it just sucks you know you don't want to be that person be aware of how you're being and if you're being that friend who's negative please stop don't be a victim don't victimize yourself you know what i'm saying give me a thumbs up if you agree with that you want to be that person who's positive who is a light in someone's life like when someone thinks of you they think wow they are good to be around i like being around in their presence i like having them around it's always good vibes it's always a good time they're always looking at the bright side that's who you want to be and don't get me wrong bad things happen to good people and you know when shit hits the fan when things happen of course you're gonna react you're only human but i'm just saying like you don't want to be a negative person you want to be a positive person and be a light in your friend's life and be supportive and you know be that person that they can lean on those kind of things you want to be positive so always keep that in mind just like don't be that negative person because it can be draining to people. This world is already tough as it is, right? There's already things going on in the world that make it hard to live. When you're in people's lives, you want to be a light in their lives. Be positive. The second thing that I will say is don't gossip. There's people who always gossip about other people and then it just makes them wonder if you're also talking crap about them to other people, right? So it's like, why be worried about other people? Why talk about other people and other people's lives and judging them? When you guys hang out, you want to just bring something else to the table. You don't want to just talk about other people. It's just not good. It's just, this one's more like short and sweet because it's straight to the point. Just don't talk crap about people. Don't talk behind people's back. Just don't do it. Why? Why do you want a friend who's like that? Who's always talking about someone else, always talking crap. It's, it's also draining. If you get off on that, then you don't have better things to do. The third thing that I want to say is be fair. Now, what do I mean by be fair? I mean, like, it's a give and take relationship. So you don't want to give more than you take, right? And you also don't want to take more than you give. And that's with anything. It's with advice. It's with rides. If you're going to pay for each other's food, um, whatever it is, you want your friendship to be fair. It just sucks to have a friend who just drains you, who's a leech who all they want is to take from you. It can be monetary, it can be your time, it could be just like your energy, right? All these things can be draining and you wanna be that friend who is fair, who like they know that you're gonna be there for them when they need you and they're gonna be there for you. You wanna be a fair friend in that way. The fourth way that you can be a very, very good friend is to be trustworthy. Now. This might seem very obvious, right? But give me a thumbs up if you are trustworthy. I just want to see how many likes I can get. Hopefully like 10,000 likes, you know, 10,000 people are trustworthy. But I really, really think that this is something that 
people don't even think about, right? But like, can you keep a secret? Or are you gonna go tell your other bestie the secret that this one bestie told you? I remember one of my friends, he was a lot older than me. And he had told me, listen, Rosie, you gotta be careful who you tell your business to or when you're out and about and you're with your friends, what you're doing, you know, what they see, because how else do you think people find out your business? Your friends that's how so if you tell your best friend let's say you have two best friends and you tell them a secret or something that you don't want people knowing they're probably gonna tell their other best friend or their little friends or whatever and then they will tell other people and like sometimes they'll over dramatize it they'll say more than what it is so you just want to keep that in mind of like are you a trustworthy friend are you going to keep a secret if someone tells you something can you keep it to yourself i mean if you tell someone else that doesn't know them has no idea who they are just because you feel like letting it out that's a different story you know but even then like i don't like when friends or people are telling me someone else's business and i don't even know who they are I have no idea who they are like i don't even care about their drama or what they did you know what i mean like i'm like okay why are you talking to me about them? like are you telling someone my thing so there's a fine line you have to be trustworthy in that sense but also being reliable can people rely on you can they count on you if they're moving and they need someone to help them move are you that good friend who's gonna go help them move. Oh my gosh, one of my friends is moving right now. <laughs> she didn't ask me for help though. But if she would have asked me, I would help. That kind of thing, if they're at the hospital, are you gonna show up? If they're in jail, are you gonna call? Are you gonna put money on their books, you know? There's so many different layers to being trustworthy and are you that person that they can trust? Because if you are, then you are a very good friend. I feel like also within the trustworthy thing, this is more for like grown-ups. Are you someone who they can trust with anything like, oh, let me call this person. She'll know what to do or she'll know what kind of advice to give me or she'll have a referral for me for this or that. It goes so much deeper than just the obvious and that's something that you have to keep in mind. The fifth thing, and it's definitely not like the final thing, but I just wanted to make this video short and sweet because sometimes people really have no idea what a good friend is or how to be a good friend. And I feel like these top five things will help you narrow down people and understand whether or not they should be in your lives. And I have one extra one after this that I just thought of that I feel like you should know. So this fifth one is be fun. Okay, what do I mean by be fun? Like you want to be that fun friend nobody likes a friend who's drama right like there's friends who cause nothing but drama like you don't want to be that person you want to be the fun friend you want to be the friend that when someone thinks of you they're like oh my gosh she's so much fun he's so much fun like every time we get together we have a good time we laugh like they don't take life too seriously. They don't take themselves too seriously. They're not talking shit about people all the time. They're not like fighting with people all the time. Like drama free. You don't want to bring drama to this relationship, to the friendship. Nobody has time for that. It's so draining. So you want to be fun. Don't take things too serious. Be there for them when they need you. Laugh at their jokes. That kind of thing. Be fun. Be a fun friend. Don't be fake. Don't try to use people. I mean, people know when you're trying to use them. They know they can feel it. It's an energy thing. So be fun. This last thing that I thought of. Oh my gosh, what did I think of? I just thought of it and I forgot. I am so sorry, but I totally forgot that extra tip that I was gonna give. That's so bad. If I remember, I'll try to record it at a different time. Yeah, these are like one of the top five things that you should know. If you wanna see a video on like how to know if someone is a bad friend or should you break up with your friend, you know, there's so many different types of videos I can make about friendship. And just comment below, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you in my next video. Besitos.